Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you like cute farm animals, locally sourced produce, and the dancing farmer, then you might be familiar with the Coghill family farms. Today, we'll look at the lives and heritage of the family that caused the Coghill farms their home. Not just that, but their heritage and reveal some things that you might not know about this family of three. Make sure to stick around. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button if you like our videos, then press the bell icon to be notified about our future uploads. Let's begin. At a glance, an average working day at the farm seems almost alien. Starting at the crack of dawn, Jason Smith, the father of the family, starts by feeding the farm animals. The farm houses a wide array of cattle, goats, hens, pigs, and even ostriches. They're a family of three that moved from the city and brought a 40-acre farm in central Alabama. The channel is run by Jason, his wife Brooke, and their daughter Mary Carl. They started the channel in November of 2012, and since then have gotten 180,000 subscribers with a total of 35 million views. The farm got its name due to its proximity to the Coghill Road in central Alabama. On their channel, the family uploads videos showcasing their daily activities with a mix of humor, educational content, and general family wholesomeness. These humble farmers hardly invite us into their lives, showing us exactly how the food on our plates and milk in our glass is produced. Did you know that their channel comes on the top of the list when it comes to homesteading? Some of you might know this already, but Jason is known as the dancing farmer, and as a child he enjoyed breakdancing. He's a jack of most trades beside being able to blink his left eye. He has a medical condition that doesn't allow him to blink his left eyelid freely. He was also born with just one functional kidney, but that doesn't seem to be a hindrance in his daily activities. Jason comes from a family of electricians, but he chose landscaping as his profession instead of harvesting and growing food, Jason wanted to do garden reconstruction. Construction. Scott Peacock, an award-winning Southern chef, is Jason's close friend, and he's uh, responsible for motivating Jason to start his YouTube channel and podcast. In his early days, Jason served as a service director at a GM dealership in Alabama. He also had a brief stint at a funeral home until he realized his love for homesteading and moved to the suburbs to start a farm with his family. Jason met his wife in 1993 and married her in 2000. Jason's daughter Mary Carl has an unusual passion for birds, and it reflects in her ability to identify them. She can identify and differentiate between birds by just looking at their noses, and can also identify their country of origin. She developed an interest in birds and livestock at a very young age. At their farm, the family breeds heritage chicken, goats, and pigs for meat and cows for milk. They house various birds including peacocks, turkeys, pigeons, geese, and ducks. The family provides organic, free-range, and excellent quality products to restaurants in Alabama so that everyone can enjoy a healthy, hearty meal. Abiding with Southern hospitality and a true community spirit, Jason's love for his family, farm, and community is heartwarming and an example for everyone trying to find their meaning in lives. He had to learn to say no to dead-end jobs and carve his own path and break the shackles of corporate job loops. A big part of why Jason started the farm was conscious eating. When the family got aware of what they were putting into their bodies, and that it was potentially harmful, they decided to take matters into their own hands and decided to grow their own produce. From dairy to free-range eggs and meat, the family now produces enough to feed themselves and even supply the surplus to restaurants. The Coghill family farm is an amalgamation of grit and free thinking. They've dedicated their lives to servicing their community, breaking a cycle of self-centered living. They lead a life of tending to nature and animals and seem quite contented by it. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to us for more interesting videos like these, and don't forget to hit the bell, and we'll see you next time.